These are the new Bose Tenor Frames, the next generation audio sunglasses from Bose. And yes, I know what you might be thinking, why on earth does a product like this even exist, or there's no way that these could possibly sound any good. And yes, I had my fair share of skepticism, but honestly, these actually sound really good. The frames use Bose open-ear audio technology. Think of something similar to bone conduction headphones, but I think these are way better in sound quality than some of the bone conduction headphones that I've tested in the past. Obviously, audio sunglasses are a pretty niche product, but if you're still wondering why anyone would buy these at all, one of the main reasons is that you don't have to have anything in your ears to get a good audio experience. Now, whatever the reason might be, there are people out there who just don't like to wear headphones, whether they're in your ears or on your ears, especially something like AirPods that do go inside of your ear and could kind of hurt. The Bose Tenor Frames, they just go on your head like a regular pair of sunglasses, and then the audio gets transmitted. It's just, it's a whole bunch of science to it. If you're really interested, you can look it up. I'm not gonna try to explain it, but uh, it creates an experience in which it sounds really good. And here's a pair of, uh, Ray-Bans, and I honestly think that they're pretty close um, in terms of the size and fit and design. Let me give you a real-world example that I experienced a couple of weeks ago. I wanted to go outside for a walk and get some fresh air. I had AirPods Pro on, and even with transparency mode enabled, it was really hard for me to hear the world around me. I honestly didn't feel comfortable walking on the street that I was walking on because I really couldn't hear any cars that were coming behind me. I know, walk on the other side of the road so that you can see them, but still, you just want to be able to hear your surroundings to make sure that you're not gonna walk in front of a car or something else might happen, and so this definitely gives you that ability. I'd also say this is something I'd feel comfortable driving with too, but I haven't tested that out. Now, driving with headphones on, no matter what kind of headphones, is definitely not safe. And for most people out there, it's most likely not necessary. We all pretty much have a decent radio inside of our car, but there are some people that don't. And I can think of a few hyper-specific scenarios that might make sense for people to wear frames while driving. For example, you parents out there, if your kids are old enough to, I don't know, start commanding what's being played on the radio the moment you get inside the car and you're really sick of hearing the Trolls version of Crazy Train on repeat, not speaking from experience, but maybe you want to toss the frames on and get some other music going or maybe a podcast and that might actually help you out a bit, especially on like long road trips. Uh, now, it is a bit hard to block out some of the uh, louder outside noises, so just keep that in mind, but it's better than nothing. Also, don't forget that these are sunglasses, so if it's sunny and you're driving, well, they do work as regular sunglasses too. Now, as I mentioned before, these audio sunglasses do sound great for what they are, but obviously low end will suffer pretty dramatically. And while I do think they do get plenty loud, it's not gonna compete with a standard pair of headphones, especially ones that go in your ears. Um, now, my wife told me that it sounded as if I was listening to music really loudly when I had the headphones or the uh, audio sunglasses cranked up. So you don't really have to worry about, like if you're on a bus or something, people being disturbed by hearing what you're listening to. Um, it should be relatively incognito. In fact, I'll throw these on and I have a microphone right here. Let's see how well the microphone picks up um, what I'm listening to. I'll put it at a reasonable volume. I got the volume at about 75%. which is plenty loud for most people. Now these audio sunglasses will truly shine for those who just want music to be played discreetly, uh, no headphones or anything on or in your ears, maybe when you're on a run or a walk, etc. It's pretty much limited to outside use only since, well, they are sunglasses, but they are perfect for those situations. I do like the design of the sunglasses in general. I think they look a lot like the uh, folding Wayfarers that I have here from Ray-Ban, um, and I really like those, but they are a bit chunky. Obviously, in the bands here, um, this is where a lot of the tech is packed, including charging capabilities, tap, touch, and swipe gesture controls, etc. And so it makes plenty of sense for these to be thicker because, well, how else would these be playing audio for you? But that also means that they do feel a bit big on the face, especially over here. They're a lot bigger in terms of on the lens area um, compared to the Ray-Bans, but these are all just very minimal um, problems or issues compared to what most others might think. It's really all just gonna be subjective on whether you like the way they look or not. 
The frames offer up to five and a half hours of streaming playback, which is really good um, for this type of product, and an advanced microphone array in order to have great phone quality on both ends. And the lenses themselves are polarized and can also accommodate prescription lenses too. The carrying case is magnetic, and that's pretty nice. I do like the case. The only thing I wish that these had were a bit more low end and an option for non-prescription standard lenses, so basically fake glasses, but so that I can wear them indoors or in more scenarios where it might make sense. I'd probably wear these a lot inside over headphones at times if I didn't have polarized lenses on them. Would I purchase these over a pair of AirPods? Probably not, but again, there is a very specific market for these. And since being outside is something that will only happen like for three months out of the year here in Ohio, I wouldn't be able to use them as much anyways. But for you people out in, I don't know, California, when the weather is generally nice like 90% of the time, this is a perfect thing to go for walks along the beach and listen to some music, but be able to hear what's going on around you. So yeah, these are a pretty impressive pair of sunglasses that just so happen to play music. And if you really think about it, these Ray-Bans cost me $200 and these are $250, which might turn you off a bit when you think of the price, but for an extra $50, you get a pair of Bluetooth headphones with it. So that might be more appealing. But of course, I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Would you buy a pair of Bose frames? Uh, do you think these are useful? Go ahead and let me know in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.